this section focuses on rainwater supply, pumps, filters and backup systems. This rainwater system runs on gravity, no pump required. Okay for garden taps and filling toilet systems. But for most applications, you'll need a pump. The type of pump depends on the number and type of fixtures it will be supplying. The main performance criterion for pumps is the flow rate in litres per minute at a specified pressure. This pump can deliver a maximum of 20 litres per minute at 250 kilopascals, enough for one or two outlets. Pump controllers have different mechanisms for turning on and for regulating pressure. The simplest is a pressure switch that senses a drop in pressure caused by opening a tap and turns the pump on. However, if two or three taps are opened, too much pressure may be lost, but it's okay for garden irrigation and toilet flushing. A variable speed pump maintains even pressure at different flow rates by varying the pump speed. Some applications cause the pump to turn on and off at short intervals. For example, four litres to flush a toilet and the start-stop rinse cycle in a washing machine. This can waste energy and puts added strain on your pump. Pressure vessels or pressure accumulator tanks store pressurised water, reducing the number of times the pump needs to turn on. The pump supplier should advise you on the right pump and controller for your application. The outlet to the pump should be here and prevent the tank level from dropping below here. Pumps are better at pushing water than pulling it, so mount your pump as close as possible to the tank, if possible lower than the tank outlet. Submersible pumps can help achieve this. Avoid high spots on the suction line from the tank to the pump, which can cause air locks and prevent the pump operating properly. If you need to install the pump above the tank outlet level, it can be done, but make sure you select a pump with adequate suction head and fit a foot valve to stop the pump losing prime. Make sure the pump is protected from the weather and minimise noise and vibration. Install stop valves and unions on either side of the pump so that the pump can be easily removed without needing to drain the rainwater at tank or the household plumbing. To ensure there's always water available to fixtures supplied by rainwater, there are two options. Top-up systems use mains water to maintain a minimum level in the tank. They trickle mains water into the tank when the water level drops below a certain level. Alternatively, an interconnect device senses when the tank water is running low and automatically switches the water supply from rainwater to mains. When the next rainfall recharges the tank, supplies switch back to rainwater. Interconnect devices can disguise the fact that the household is running on the mains water, so a tank level gauge is recommended to show the householder when the tank is empty. In dry periods, interconnect devices can use less energy as they supply mains water without using the pump. Whatever backup system is used, the mains water supply must be protected against backflow of rainwater into the mains. Top-ups must be isolated from tank water. There must be a visible air gap between the mains water top-up and the top of the tank. Interconnect devices must have dual check valves integrated or on the mains inlet. In-ground tanks have a higher chance of contamination from surface runoff, so if connected to household plumbing, the mains water supply must be fitted with a testable backflow prevention device. Many water authorities fit new metres to properties where rainwater and main supply are interconnected and they must be notified of a rainwater connection on the property. Rainwater from a well-maintained, well-designed system should not need further treatment for non-potable uses. However, particles including the swarf from drilling a hole for the float switch and sediment can make rainwater appear a bit cloudy and can damage appliances such as interconnect devices, water heaters and washing machines. 20 micron filters can be used to remove these particles. These should be installed with suitable ball valves to allow easy changing of cartridges. Health authorities recommend that mains water, if available, is used for drinking and food preparation. Drinking water systems generally include multi-stage treatment, so if tank water is used for human consumption, expert assistance should be sought to ensure you've addressed the possible risks. Your last job is to make sure the occupants understand the importance of maintaining the rainwater system by regularly inspecting and cleaning gutters, screens and filters, and ensuring pumps, valves and switches are in good working order. Providing the householder with a maintenance checklist helps get the message across. For more information, go to the Trade Secrets website.